Okay, today um, I'm going to begin. We're going to talk about the basics of civil 3D description keys. And this is going to be part one in a series. I don't know how many in my series just yet, but this will be part one um, because I want to keep these short and sweet and not lose you on having a 30, 40, 50 minute video or however long it's going to take me. So let's first understand what description keys do and understand, uh, like I said, it's the basics and that the very honest uh, thing you need to understand is uh, uh, so, uh, description keys are very basic and I'm actually very shocked at how many people don't truly utilize them. They can streamline your your point block insertion and they can make your life uh, a little bit easier on, on, on managing the way your points look. So on my screen you'll see that I have, let me make this disappear right now because I don't need you to see all that here. You see I have uh, five points and those five points on the right is a screen capture of the ASCII text file uh, that they came from on the top right hand corner. And notice that, and all, all I'm concerned about is the box in red. Okay, I, we all know what a point number, northing, easting, elevation, description, point file looks like. I'm more concerned about the box in red, the description. We're going to break that down. Okay, and to break that down, let's take a look at the description keys here. Okay, let me position this so it's like that. And so we see this right here. And we'll focus on point number one. Okay. They all follow the same suit here, but we'll focus on one point at a time. So my surveyor is out in the field, and he typed in TR space 10 space oak to indicate to me that we have a 10-inch oak in, at that point right there. Okay. Notice that he typed in TR 10 oak. However, when it came into the office, it came in as 10 inch with the inch symbol oak. There is no inch symbol in here whatsoever. So how did I get that inch symbol in there? Okay, we will discuss that. Um, and this uh, this right here is an Excel spreadsheet screen capture of how I break down the TR, the 10, and the oak. Okay, we're going to talk about the parameters here. So you'll see right here that I have a TR asterisk for my tree, which indicates to my software, anytime you see TR, a, a, a description beginning with TR, we will assign it whatever description key style, point style we want, okay? This is just a regular civil 3D point style. I have it in my list as to what, you know, the, the different point styles. Now this is out of the box. Okay, I haven't customized this software whatsoever. So let's go take a look at that point style here. Okay, so in the point style under the marker tab, you're going to see we have the option to use an AutoCAD block symbol. Notice this says AutoCAD block. Nothing fancy here. Okay, and the one that this one happens to be using is the tree six block, which ships with Civil 3D. And that's where this little guy comes in, and that's a tree. But since it's an AutoCAD block symbol, I can use my own block. I can use one of their blocks. It really doesn't matter. I can create a block in this drawing and then use it. How do I get a block here? Well, like I said, it has to be in this drawing. Or uh, so, so if you insert a block into this drawing and erase it, just don't purge it, you can use that block. Or you can come over here and browse just by right-clicking in this white area right here and browse to any block in your block library that you may have. Okay, You might need to tweak it and edit it so the center of the block is in the right location for this, but that's that's beyond this discussion here. That's just uh, So just understand that it's using an AutoCAD block symbol to bring it in. So anytime it says TR in the description, it's going to assign it a tree symbol. And then I have it set up to assign it a point number and elevation, uh, point number and description here. Now, how do I get this to say 10 inch oak? Well, let's break this down by parameter one and parameter two. Well, where's, what does that mean? Okay. Well, if you look right here at this column right here, okay, um, the zero is the first thing that the surveyor types in. So this is, the surveyor typed in TR and then he hit space. So TR gave me parameter zero. Okay. And then he typed in 10 
and that gave me parameter one. And then he typed in space, and then he typed in oak, and that gave me parameter two. Okay. The dollar signs indicate parameters. Notice the ones up here are dollar sign asterisks, which tells me whatever the surveyor typed in the field, I don't care what it says, just bring it into my drawing and let that be what I need, what, what I see on my screen. Okay. Well, I don't want that. I don't want to see TR10 oak. I want to see 10 inch oak. So I manually typed in dollar sign one. I manually typed in the inch symbol. I did a space and then I did dollar sign two, which tells me whenever you see TR, go in, find it, and then look at dollar sign one, parameter one, and then put it in the first area, and then add the inch symbol, and then look at the second uh, parameter and add that as well. Okay. So if I were to make, make a mistake or if my surveyor types in TR oak 10, I would have had oak inch symbol space 10. So you got to understand that it's all about consistency here. And that's probably the hardest part of description keys, making sure that what the surveyors are typing out in the field is consistent with what you want in the office. Okay. So this is the, the first of the first part of understanding description keys. I hope that makes sense. I'll expand on this in a little bit uh, later.